Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Olga is here. For those of you who haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the bell as well to get the latest notifications about the videos I post out there for you guys. And in today's video, we are going to be reviewing this uh, product by Smashbox. And this is Drawn In Decked Out Be Legendary Lipstick and Lip Mattifier Set. This is in collaboration and it's a limited edition. They've collaborated with Anna Strump, who is the editorial illustrator. And this is her work. She kind of like, she takes the photographs and transforms them into playful and fun pictures. The first time I saw this kind of collection was in Ulta actually because I do have this palette and I am going to review it I swear I just haven't had a chance to get to it okay but in today's video I am reviewing the lipstick set because if I were trying to do this one and this one and plus they have another set uh, all of that from all of this collection we will be in this video till the next morning so I am just going to be doing the lipsticks today and let's go ahead and open her up. So they come all like this, wrapped in this kind of a tissue paper, which is really cute. And then what else you have? You have these stickers. By the way, this palette, guys, it also came with the stickers and also came in this beautiful kind of unicarton with the same type of a tissue paper. But this particular palette is not yet available in Sephora. I bought that at Ulta and they told me it was limited edition. So no, not sure if, the, if Ulta still has it. I'm pretty sure. I'm thinking that Sephora is going to have it at some point since they are carrying these lipsticks now. And they are carrying another set that I haven't gotten. That one has like two eyeshadow palettes and like one little palette with like contours, like three contours. So I didn't get that one, it just didn't speak to me. I might pick it up, but again, I might not. So today we're just going to review the lipsticks. Let me give you all of the 411 on them. So this set contains six mini cream lipsticks and it also contains the Instamat lipstick transformer. So the lipsticks each contains 0.4 ounces or 1.3 grams of product and the mini instant transformer matte transformer contains 16 ounces or 5 ml of product they also keep having like a little warning on the sephora's website i read that the mini instant transformer is tucked into uh, the packaging here i guess they're trying to make sure that people do not throw away the tissue with their instant transformer because when I was reading the reviews some of the reviews did say that um, they did not get the instant transformer and like I just noticed as I unfolded them the instant transformer here she is again that beautiful little artwork and these are these cute little lipsticks i mean aren't they just adorable guys look at them and as i look at them they are small but this is just adorable i honestly when i picked it up i really had picked it up only because like i said i am kind of obsessed i liked this and so even though i didn't review it yet <laughs> but i did pick these lipsticks up because i was like how cute is this you know why wouldn't I pick them up so I decided to pick them up as well and now we are reviewing them so what they're saying is that once you put the lipstick on then to go ahead and use this instant matte transformer instant matte transformer to mattify the lips to give it like the appearance of that matte uh, liquid lipstick or something like that also it does say on Sephora's website that you are not supposed to use them with like lip glosses or lip lacquers. It's not going to work. So there is that. So now I'm going to go ahead and start uh, swatching them. It is going to be, I want to say relatively easy because these are not liquid lipsticks. So my lips should not really hate them. This one is called Primrose. Oh my gosh. And it's a beautiful color. I mean, look at this. So here's Primrose and I am going to apply her on my lips. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I just broke this. Oh no. Well, that's nice to know. So this was um, Primrose and I just literally broke off the product because me, I go in, that's unbelievable. I go in very like hard and I pulled out the whole stick and that doesn't normally happen. I don't know what happened. So she is nevertheless beautiful and I am going to go ahead and try this mattifier and see what happens. And indeed this does work. This right now does look like a matte liquid lipstick. Of course, then it has trashed the mattifier, but nevertheless it worked. I'm going to go ahead and show you the legendary. So this is the legendary. It's kind of a hot pink. Let's try her on. So now I'm going to go in with that mattifier. Where did that thing go? And this time I'm just going to apply some of that on my finger and see if that does anything. And there you have it. It did turn it into the matte kind of looking finish. And it looks beautiful. I like this color. I am going to go ahead and remove it. Next I'm going to be trying on Audition. And this is a pretty nude kind of color. And I'm going to swatch her on my wrist. So here you can see them in comparison. And there she is. I'm not going to do the mattifier again because I kind of got the idea that it does work and I don't actually need to do that right now. So there you have it. This was addition, very pretty nude color. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Color Famous. And that's another kind of nude. There you have it. We're kind of going down my arm. And this is that color. I have to be honest with you, I don't really like certain nudes. Once we go past like this color, like this one is way lighter, I, it seems to me like it makes me look like kind of sickly, so I, it's not my cup of tea. Is it a beautiful color? Yes, yes it is. Is it a beautiful color for me? Uh, I wouldn't say so. So I could really survive without this color. I'm going to go in with a color witchy. This beautiful dark kind of brown chocolatey. But once I'm swatching it on my wrist, I can tell you that it kind of pulls in some burgundy color. So like it looks like it's a brown, dark brown chocolate, dark chocolate kind of look. But then when I swatch it, I can see some wines and reds in it. So it's a beautiful color, definitely. So I'm not too impressed with this color. Even though it went on, it seemed like it went on beautifully, it does not want to stick on the inner part of my lip. Like, let me just show you. This area right here, 
on the inside when I do something like this it moves the product too much around and so I don't know I don't like that it seems like the product is sort of like peeling off from the inside of my lip I do not like that too much the last color we have is fig this is what she looks like. This is all of these colors now that I have on. Even though the this is not liquid lipsticks, like I said, these are still kind of drying and annoying to my lips because I am doing put them on, wipe them off, put them on, wipe them off. But what kind of review would it be if I was just going to show you six colors and swatch one? And that's it, we're done, bye. So this is the fig color and this is what she looks like and that's pretty much it so I have swatched all of them and now the verdict right so this I kind of find okay so I'm going to kind of try to take this apart step by step so I am going to first talk about the good stuff then I'll kind of talk about the bad stuff and give you my final words and verdict do I love the packaging? Yes, absolutely. I think this is stunning. It's adorable. It, it kind of looks a little bit maybe childish, but um, I, I do like that. It's playful. It's really nice. On Sephora's website, this retails for $25 and they're saying this is the value of $61 and this includes a six mini cream lipsticks. What to do with these? I don't know if you have like a little daughter or a niece or a, or a neighboring kid, maybe give this to them. I don't really know if this has its place in makeup. I don't know, but then again, we have my little pony palette and I have approved it, so. <laughs> Does it? Yeah, sure, I like that. This is really, really cute. I love the packaging. I think that the sticks themselves are on a small size, but again, nothing secret to there. Um, they did tell us that this is the mini size. So let me just try to put them in my hand so you kind of can get the perspective. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get the perspective of how small, even though they give you the dimensions and all of that, I find it hard to kind of understand how small something is until I hold it in my hand, really. I was like, okay, so this is how small they are. All right, okay, I can get it. Um, do I think they, um, like they're saying this is the value of 61 bucks? No, I don't. I think that the $25 price tag is actually maybe a little bit too much, but then again, is it a lot of money? Am I going to approve this? I guess that's the biggest question, no. Olga Gaffi is not going to approve this product, even though I like the palette, which I am going to do the full review on in my next video, I am not going to approve the lipsticks. Number one, I think they are just a little bit too small, even though I consider myself a petite person, this is just hard for me to hold, and then I, I got a little bit mad when I went in and I broke off the stick, but that was, again, that was my fault. I pulled, pulled too much of the product out. So note to those who are going to purchase this. Do not pull the whole stick out. I tend to do that. Unfortunately, that's just something that I do, and bam, you break the product off. Maybe I press a little bit too hard. What else? Uh, why I'm not going to approve it? The color called Witchy really did not deliver it for me. It had swatched beautifully right there. It had swatched beautifully on my wrist and then when I put the product on and I tried to do this, like distribute the product evenly, it really just, it would peel off from the inside of my lips. I did not like that. I was expecting it to perform slightly better than that. And the sizing, these are small, they're a little hard to use. It kind of reminds me of like uh, Clary's or like little kids makeup or something like that. I mean, they are super, super cute, don't get me wrong, I like that. I mean, after all, I like my little pony, but these guys are just, they're just not, I don't know, they're, th there is nothing really special about that formula inside. The mattifier, I did not like it because they're saying you're supposed to touch it onto your lip to make this look matte 
and then you would have this whole thing with the lipstick would transfer onto here let me just show you see what happened I mean I don't know and then you would have to go in and try to clean it and I don't know it, it this and I just say that this is like an extra step it's sort of disabling you know what I mean I mean there is uh, will it make it look matte sure but then again why then we would need to use this extra step you just go ahead and use your liquid lipstick which is matte or a lip stain why would you then go by this in order to do, to do this it's like step a step b it's a little gimmicky um i do like the artwork i absolutely adore the packaging i think that this is really cute you know but it's somewhat gimmicky i mean use the lip mattifier in order to give yourself a matte lipstick i don't know then why are we using lipsticks really what's the point don't you want to if you are buying a lipstick shouldn't you buy the lipstick for the sake of the lipstick and if you want a liquid lipstick matte lipstick then go and get that or maybe they should have made this into the liquid lip formula it seems to me like that's what it seems to me so no Olga Gaffi is not going to approve this product this is what my opinion is it is my opinion if somebody like um, wants to get this because you are a collector and I totally got it because I got this absolutely you probably will like owning something like this because you might love the artwork and you are getting it for the sake of that or maybe out of the respect for the lady who collaborated with Smashbox but if you are just strictly getting it for the pigment skip on this there is other many many choices out there it seems like Sephora these days is uh, filled up with lots of lip sets mini lipstick sets it seems like everybody is coming out with something similar to that effect so I mean I I'm I am kind of I'm not regretting it because $25 is it's not that much money to be heartbroken over am I going to use them sure probably maybe once or twice and probably they'll just get forgotten in my drawer and just dry up there I have no idea I really cannot give them to anybody anymore because I have tried them all and that would be kind of unsanitary and half-ass so I'm not going to like donate it or give it to anyone but if you want to get somebody like a young teenage girl or if you have a daughter sister or a cousin a little birthday present I think this is like super cute for a 15 year old you know so anyways guys thanks very much for tuning in I will see you all in my next video I love you bye